Hello, Dan Harvey for Imagineer Systems here with a look at advanced VFX in the timeline with the Mocha Pro 5 plugin for Avid Media Composer. My goal here is to remove the lady in the foreground from this clip. I'll begin by selecting the Mocha Pro plugin from the effects library and dragging it to my video track. The effect editor is light on parameters here, just the matte apply modes, module render options and licensing tools. I'll hit Launch Mocha Pro to open the full Mocha UI. The dialog box alerts me to the fact that I'm working in proxy resolution in the Avid timeline, which may affect the quality of my track. I can cancel and switch to full res, or continue. In this case I'll continue because there's plenty of detail to work with in this shot. I can remove the foreground object automatically as there are sufficient clean frames ahead and behind to exclude the lady and her shadow. I'll begin by selecting the Create X-Blind tool and draw a shape on a frame where I can see the whole of the remove area and where the lady's stride is at its widest. When I'm finished plotting the points on the shape, I'll right click to close it. Now I'll animate my shape. The Auto Key button is enabled here, so each time I move the shape with the white transform widget or move any of the vertices on another frame, a keyframe is added. Now I need to track the background planes. There are two distinct planes here, the wall and the floor. So I'll create separate X-spline shapes for each. Right clicking and dragging a vertex relaxes or straightens all vertices on a shape. Now I'll select the Link tool and drag a vertex on one shape to the corresponding vertex on the other in order to join them seamlessly so there's no gaps or overlaps. I'll turn off the cog icon for my foreground shape to disable tracking as I've already animated it. Now I'll increase the percentage of pixels used for tracking and enable perspective tracking for both background shapes. The order in which shape layers are stacked is important in Mocha. As a rule, the furthest object from the camera should be at the bottom of the stack. In this case, the wall shape is the furthest from the camera. Next comes the floor, and the lady in the foreground is in front of both of them. Now I'll show the layer map for both background shapes. The triangle at the bottom of the layer map button indicates that the button has options, so I'll press and hold and select the track mat option. This indicates the area that will be tracked. Because I've placed the shape for the lady above the background shapes, her shape is excluded from being tracked on the background shape, so her movement won't interfere with the track. Now I'll rewind to the start of the clip and track my background shapes. Now the tracking is completed, I'd like to edit my background shape so that they cover the entire background area. I'll enable the Uber key button and adjust them as required. When Uber key is enabled, all existing keyframes are offset relatively and no additional keyframes are added. I'll enable the surface tool and align it with the wall plane to check that it's tracked correctly. I can also enable a grid overlay for further precision. I'll select my foreground object and switch to the Remove tab. Because the lady's shape is above the background shapes in the shape stack, the background areas will be used for the remove. I'll hit Render Single Frame to view the result. I can render forwards and export the resulting frames from Mocha as in the standalone version, but in this case I want to render to the Avid timeline, so I'll save the Mocha project by hitting the Save button and exit from Mocha back to Avid. I'll open the Module Renders option in the Effects menu, select which effect to render, in this case the Remove, and Enable Render. The render interactively updates on Scrub in the Avid timeline, or I can use the Timeline Render button to cache the clip for playback. Finally I'll toggle Render on and off to take a look at Before and After. Now we'll take a look at why it's important to track separate planes for removes. In this example I've animated a mask for my foreground shape as before, 
but I've tracked the background as a single shape. When I turn on the surface and grid overlay for the background shape, we can see that the resulting track isn't aligned correctly to either of the planes on the background. As a result, when I render, we see these image tearing artifacts because the remove is confused by the different parallax shift in the two planes. While we're on the subject of things that can go wrong, another cause of artifacts in removes is inaccurate foreground masks. Despite the whole remove area being included in the shape on this frame, the shadow intrudes into the remove here. The reason for this is that it wasn't masked out correctly on prior frames. I'll correct this and render again. When a track plane isn't completely flat, minor artifacts can result from parallax shift on the 3D contours. Note the slight tearing effect here on the beveled edge of the stonework. In the Remove tool, the 3D Compensation option performs an additional analysis of the 3D contours and interpolates across them, providing a superior result. The 3D Compensation option requires additional processing time, so it should only be enabled when required. Thanks for watching. To find out more about Mocha Pro 5 for Avid and for other hosts including Nuke, Resolve and After Effects, check out the tutorials on imagineersystems.com.